Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nadia. I'm um, sorry for the uh, lack of posts, uh, lack of videos recently. Um, it's been a really busy summer over here um, for me and my family. So we've got we've had a lot of stuff going on, and I haven't had a lot of time to do nail art or any reviews. Um, but today I do have a review and swatches for the Island uh, Island collection from soothing soul nail lacquer these are these uh, five colors that we see right here so we've got lily lily pad blue lagoon island breeze aurora and uh, toes in the sand so I will be uh, swatching these for you these will be ten dollars a bottle or forty five dollars for the whole collection and they will be at soothing soul uh, nail lacquers uh, shop which I will link in the description below and I think these will be available on July 19th so Let's uh, quickly get on to the swatches. So up first we have Lily Pad and I described this as a shimmery jade green. This a little slightly more blue leaning that it appears on camera. So this is the first swatch and you will see it has a really nice smooth formula. It applies nicely and evenly. Here is the second swatch. The little bumps you see are from my base coat, not from the polish. And um, this one is, like I said, slightly more blue leaning, especially when compared to her uh, green from the previous collection, which I also swatched, which was Lime Sorbet. Up next is Blue Lagoon. This is, I describe it as a shimmery medium blue, slightly not quite denim, denim blue, slightly maybe like a cerulean uh, blue. as these hints of purple or like indigo in the corners, I didn't capture it that well on camera, but you can definitely see it in person. Here is the first coat of Blue Lagoon. This one was slightly more sheer than some of the other colors in the formula, at least the um, press sample bottle that I got. So I am going to do three coats. This is now the second coat. This is a super pretty color. As you can see, it has like a lot of like sparkle in it. So I'm doing my best to smooth it out, but I'm see noticing that there is like um, still a little bit of uneven evenness. So I'm going to go in for a third and final coat. The formula is still really smooth. I feel like the sheerness of the polish does bring out more of that shimmery sparkle. And I don't know if you can see it at the edges there when I move my finger. This that's just it's like a slightly darker blue, sort of like an indigo. Up next is Island Breeze, and I described this one as a more slightly periwinkle kind of uh, blue. There's like like these hints of like this pinkish purplish shimmer throughout it's more uh, gray leaning uh, blue compared to blue lagoon this one is also very pretty and my camera just is not capturing the shimmer as well as I'd like but hopefully you can see it this is gonna be the first coat this one also required um, three coats but it the formula is very nice and very smooth This is now the second coat. And if you did um, thicker layers, maybe you could probably get away with the, with the two coats, but I did just the third coat just to make it all nice and more opaque and nice and smooth. Here we have one of my favorites from this collection. This is Aurora. My camera is super overexposed and is not capturing this one accurately. It is more of a uh, p brighter pink shade. It has this beautiful pinkish, although it looks slightly bluish almost. I'm not really sure um, when the light catches it. It is just a super pretty stunning color. This one you only need two coats for it. So this is the first coat. You can see how nice and smooth it is. And now here is the second coat and that is all you need to get a nice opaque shiny finish. Last but not least is Toes in the Sand, which is more of a rose gold color. It is a softer, more dusty kind of pink base with lots and lots of gold shimmer. This one also has a great formula, and you also only need two coats for to reach opacity. Here is the first one. And now, it actually looks super pretty, by the way, as one coat. Here is the second coat. You could maybe even use this as a topper, because that gold shimmer is just amazing. 
And up next, I'm just going to leave you with the final swatches for the Island Collection from Soothing Soul Nail Lacquer. These will be available starting on July 19th at tssnails.com, which I will have linked below. That is Soothing Soul Nail Lacquer's shop. I will also have more pictures on my blog, which is mamahartspolish.com. And I will be posting these uh, throughout Facebook and Instagram, at which you can find me at Mama Hearts Polish for both of those sites. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like and subscribe.